Gotcha. And while we're on the topic of prescriptions, something we wanted to ask you, and we, we say this with the preface that we are not doctors or medical professionals like yourself, but something we see a lot because we manage people's prescriptions and their costs and everything is we see people, you know, become pre-diabetic, become diabetic, and all of a sudden they are on Janimet and Farsiga and Victoza and all these very expensive medications right off the bat. Do you ever feel like there's an yeah. over prescription of these newer medications when you could potentially start with something cheaper like metformin or glipizide and, you know, maybe manage with that before you actually dive into these $500 a month medications? Absolutely. There's, I've been on both sides of, of things. I, I used to work with an insurance company where we tried to keep people from getting over medicated, which is a very common issue. Um, and a lot of that stems from not seeing an educator or a specialist, you know, that the doctor is doing what the algorithm tells them. But a lot of the time they miss the part of, you know, working with the patient, like, is this something we can change with our diet? Are you super stressed? Like what's going on? Are you depressed? Do we need to try something, you know, in the, in the psych realm there before we add on more medication? Um, so yeah, usually, definitely um, starting with metformin and then seeing an educator is going to really help keep costs down because then we can really optimize your knowledge and your strategy. And then if you need more medication, you know, that is totally necessary and you've, you, you're doing what you can. And it could also be maybe a stage in your life where you just need more medication and that's okay too. So um Yes, that's why I really promote um, all the educators trying to promote our role because, yeah, there's there's so many different things you need to know about diabetes um, aside from just, you know, adding on more medication when maybe you, you could try something a little different. Gotcha. Like we always worry that potentially the new kid on the block in terms of the prescriptions, like that company might be giving doctors kickbacks or something like that. Have you ever seen anything like that over your time? This is really interesting. Um, there is, at least in the big hospital systems, that is not a thing. Because um, I, get, I get accused of that a lot if I am promoting like a certain medication. Um, they're like, well, you're getting paid. And I was like, no, I'm getting paid a really sad hourly wage. And same with the doctors. They're just like, we don't get, um, if anything, they can buy the doctor dinner, which could be nice. but. Um, I think too, like we really have no say in what we can prescribe either. So if a doctor was in bed with the Manjaro people, if your insurance doesn't cover it, they can't, you know, you can't get it. They can't prescribe it. So I think there's a lot that's let I, that would be less of a worry to me that they're prescribing it for financial reasons. I think a lot of it just comes from them trying to follow an algorithm or them just trying to get the A1C down as quickly as possible. So they're like, let's use some heavy hitter medication. And sometimes that is warranted. And then sometimes, again, if we just saw a nutritionist or a diabetes educator, then we can maybe figure out some some different strategies to, to help just keep you on the medications you need. Gotcha. 